Hey everyone, Damon Black Flag from the Creatures team, and today I want to talk about the Creatures HUD and just kind of discuss some of the features. Um, the first thing that I hear about a lot is, hey, Damon, my HUD, the text is overlapping, I can't see anything, ah, what do I do? The sky is falling and stuff. And so I tell them, hey, look in the top right corner, um, next to the hide button, there's two arrows, just click on the arrow, down or up, whichever one will make it go underneath the text and make it look good again. Uh, this is a Second Life thing, like, it's just how the hover text it works in Second Life. It's, we, there's no other way to do it, really. Um, so we have two arrows to fix it, so whenever it messes up on different people's resolutions, that will take care of it. Um, we also have a food reserves uh, refresh button, but it actually refreshes the entire data set on this page, so I use that often when I go to the spinner and I want to make sure I actually got the food reserves. Um, got a guild button, click on guild, you can create one, or uh, you can join somebody else's, they can invite you and you can push accept. Pretty simple. Um, got a search button, so let's say I can't find my my drog. Um, what I can do is I can press search. Uh, where's my drog? I miss drog. That's the name of this creature. And then it'll actually link to that. Hello, I'm drog and I'm here. So he's telling me. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Hello, drog. Nice to see you there. Um, show. Uh, I can show all the ones that are unpaired. Which, I, there's none, because I just paired all of those uh, in the last video tutorial, actually. Uh, retired, I can see if there's any retired. There's none. Um, I can show which ones are mine. Hey, those are mine. Those are my creatures. And then I can uh, see if any need an update, which none of them do. Pretty cool. Um, we've also got the extras button. I can turn on or off the full bright mode. Uh, I can turn on or off reserve food. Usually you never want to turn reserve food off, by the way. but. Just we have the ability to, you know, maybe you want to turn it off and then res out a bunch of creatures or something uh, that have been sitting in your inventory for a long time. And now you can do that without them starting to eat reserve food because maybe you don't want them to eat at all. Uh, materials, you can turn them on or off. I usually keep it off. It adds a little bit of land impact if you turn it on, but that adds like bump mapping and such to the textures, which makes it look better, but land impact goes up. Um, and that's about it. Oh, also, you can uh, queue up stuff for redelivery from this extras button. So if you need to re-deliver re a creature, and then you've got a re-delivery portal there, um, just click that, type in the ID, or on multiple IDs, and then they get queued up to that. Click in the portal, boom, get them up in world. Pretty simple. Um, that's it for that. Verify accounts. Um, oh, I don't want to show that, but now I've got to, now I've got to blur that out. Okay. Uh, whatever. So yeah, you click that. Uh, <laughs> It, you uh, click the link and then boom, you're logged in. So now I gotta blur out some some footage here, which is fine. It's fine, guys. Extra work on Damon. Who cares? Uh, the info tab will show you like whenever you you know like I clicked on Drog over there, it shows the full stats of that creature. Yeah, you can click web to view the website for that creature. Um, then you can send that link to other people, etc. The tree, same thing. Uh, I am would send an I am to me. And I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to I am myself. Um, you can see what's compatible. It's pretty cool, it's pretty handy. It shows you what's compatible with that creature. Um, you can look for the parents. Of course, they're not here because it was a starter. And then, of course, you can birth it, and that's not going to work because we've already birthed it. Now, over on the Edit tab, uh, you can edit the name. So if I don't want it to be called Draug anymore, I can type in Kevin, which I just did. And his name is now changed to Kevin. Um, I can choose his mate, but he's already paired, so I don't really want to do that. I can rebuild it. Maybe maybe there's a reason to rebuild it. Just click rebuild. Yes, I'm sure. It's going to do its thing and he's going to be rebuilt. Oh, there he is. Get rebuilt right there. Um, if I had a potion, I would stay forever potion. Increase heat potion to increase heat. Um, or cure sickness, which is another potion. Um, I can show the pairing, so if I want to see you know, who, who they're paired to. Uh, it's a jumble of those two together right there, so it's kind of hard to see, but I'll do it one more time. Now you see those two. And now it's confusing because why are you standing next to him? That's confusing to me. Anyway. Also, Kevin is a female, apparently. I don't know how to... That's fine. That's, that's cool. I don't care. Um, home unlink. That will unlink from the home. Uh, toggle markets. Uh, turns on or off market mode. But of course, if you use toggle market and you don't actually right-click edits and set it for sale... Um, boom. If you don't at least do that, then uh, 
we have a bot that's gonna hop around and it'll turn it off of market because we only want stuff that's actually set up for sale. Um, of course, I don't really want to do that. All right, so let's look over at uh, merge this. If I push merge this, that's gonna merge it. I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm gonna keep it. Merging means deleting, but it also gives you the K points to your account. And of course we have a uh, like change pose. So you can kind of change through the poses. Uh, this especially works for ones that are on activity activity zero through two, uh, or I should say like zero or one. Two actually goes through the poses a lot. So zero or one is really good to do. Um, then of course you can manually set the activity level. Zero is completely frozen. It won't even grow, it's that frozen. Uh, one means it'll stand there wiggling its tail, kind of like this polar's doing. It's just gonna stand there. Oh, hey, you made me a liar. It's gonna stand still and pretty much do nothing. Actually, you know what? We're on activity one, buddy. Yeah, that's what you get for making me a liar. So it's just gonna stand there and wiggle its ears and tail and blink its eyes, and that's that's it. Um, activity two, of course, will stand in place, but it'll start doing the animations without physically moving um, forward, backwards, etc. It'll stay in that exact spot, but it'll go through the animations. So, and then of course activity three, uh, we'll turn it back on to start moving around, and activity four, we'll make it so it roams around as frequent as any other one will do. Uh, that pretty much sums up, I think, everything on the HUD, other than the fact that yes, you can click uh, the creature's logo at the bottom to go to the creature's sim. Pretty cool. And you can push hide and then show with the clicking of the K. Um, you can edit, only edit when it's open and just kind of put it up to the side wherever you want to put it there. And now when you hide and show, it's off to the side as best as it's going to be. So yeah, that's the creature's HUD. Um, any other questions, uh, jump into the creatures group and people will help you. But that is the HUD. That's it, guys. This has been Damon Black Flag from the Creatures Team.